Well hello indie people, how are you guys doing? And today I want to talk about the updates to the blue badge scheme. Since last week it was announced that potentially people with autism and other hidden disabilities in England may be eligible for a blue badge. And I just want to talk about my feelings about it, get your views on it as well. But if this is the first video that you've seen and you don't know anything about this channel, basically my channel covers autism awareness, talking about different aspects of autism, having discussions about different aspects of the autism community. And if that sounds like your cup of tea, then please consider subscribing down below, turning on those notifications so you do not miss an upload. But before we get into the discussion, the Chewy Gem giveaway that I've been doing, you know, giving away the berries and the eternity ring is now over. Thank you so much to everyone who has taken part. It really means the world to me. It really does, guys. And that was thunder. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the winners of the two giveaway items will be contacted very, very soon. So, like I say, guys, last week it was announced that the eligibility criteria was going to change in 2019 and with this change it's really going to help people on the autism spectrum and I said it back in my March video that these proposed changes would be really really beneficial because it will allow people on the autism spectrum to park closer to their destination which reduces anxiety you know reduces general stress and also for a lot of people on the spectrum it is a real problem you know being able to access the community and you know the idea that people on the spectrum feel isolated. So, so this scheme allows us as autistics to be able to access the community, which I can only praise, and I'm just thankful to the government for actually considering people with autism as well as other hidden disabilities. Yeah, I think it's a real step forward. I really, really do, but I think there's a lot more work still to be done because this is only happening in England, and that to me is a real, real shame, but I think that if it's successful in England, they'll get rolled out in Wales and then Scotland and wherever else. And also this change means that local authorities can't interpret the rules that are set in place so basically every single local authority within England has to abide by this new eligibility criteria and this new plan that's come into place and and that to me is a really really amazing thing because local authorities could just interpret the rules but they can't do that anymore and that to me is a really really fantastic thing because it's universal across the board it, that to me makes it so much better because I, I like things being in order and like everyone following the rules you know it's just one of those things <laughs> that I like so my opinion is it's a really positive thing but what do you guys think leave a comment down below it'd be great to hear from you guys but now I want to talk about the new additions or changes to the eligibility criteria which makes the possibility of an autistic or a family member with an autistic child or something being able to access a blue badge. So, so what are these new changes, additions to the eligibility criteria? Well, it includes those who cannot make a journey without a risk of serious harm to health or safety or others, including children with autism, people who find journeys cause very considerable physical distress, and finally, those with considerable difficulty walking, both the physical act and the experience of walking. So those are the new eligibility criteria and it sounds like it's really, really aimed at people with autism, mental health conditions and also hidden disabilities such as fibromyalgia, EDS and stuff like that, you know, where it's chronic pain but it's internally you can't physically see it without someone actually needing some kind of aid or support from another person. And this is the first major overhaul of the blue badge scheme since the 70s and to be honest it's been a long 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 time coming to be perfectly honest with you it should have come years ago but i'm really glad that's come to light now and it's going to be coming into place in 2019 honestly just really really happy that autistic people who do find parking and everything and just the general experience of going out in the community difficult there's a possibility that 
their experience will be improved because of the blue badge scheme like I just think that's a really really fantastic thing but guys I want to hear from you what do you think of these new proposed changes that are coming in 2019 and also if you are on the autism spectrum or you have a hidden disability does this make you want to apply for a blue badge and learn to drive I would love to know down below in those comments what everyone is thinking and with that guys that is the end of this video but if you did enjoy this then please give it a thumbs up subscribe down below turn on those notifications stay you stay indie i hope you have a really great day and i'll see you all very soon see you later guys